Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a video that will show you all the arcanes you can get on your primary weapons. There are 4 in total and they can be extremely powerful. Let's quickly go over all the basics before we look at the arcanes themselves. Before you can install the arcanes, you will need to get yourself a primary arcane adapter for the weapon you want. You can only get them from Teshin for 15 steel essence after you unlock the steel path. They're not that expensive, but you have quite a grind ahead of you if you want to get the adapters on every single weapon you own. I suggest you only get them for the few weapons you love to play with. You can install the arcanes you want in your weapons modding menu. To maximize the arcanes effect, you need to get a total of 21 arcanes of the same type. But yeah, that is it. Let's now go over the arcanes. There is two varieties, primary arcanes and fractalized arcanes. We will first go over the primary arcanes. There are three primary arcanes that only drop from the acolytes, appearing every 5 minutes or so while you play the steel path missions. The drop chance of these arcanes is 50% for one of the three arcanes for every acolyte you kill. The acolytes do drop six arcanes, three primary arcanes and three secondary arcanes, and you are guaranteed one arcane per acolyte, so 50-50 chance to be the primary. But yeah, let's go over the arcanes now. Primary Deathhead is a great arcane for any weapon that can easily kill with headshots. Each time you kill an enemy with a headshot, you will get a 120% damage increase for 24 seconds, which can stack up 3 times, so a total of 360% additional additive damage for all these statistical nuts. Once the timer of the stack is over, you will lose one stack and not the whole effect, so it is easy to keep up the damage rolling. Besides the increased damage, you will also get two passive effects by just equipping this arcane. The first effect is increased headshot damage, which is a total of 30%, and the second passive effect is reduced recoil by 50%. While these effects do not seem that much, they do make a huge difference, especially the recoil one. Wow, we it is so nice to have no recoil, even in a game like Warframe. The second primary arcane is primary dexterity, which will increase your damage with primary weapons by 60% for 20 seconds each time you kill an enemy with a melee weapon. This effect stacks up 6 times to a total of 360% damage increase, which is insane. If the 20 second timer runs out, you will lose one stack of the arcane's effect, so it is quite good, the rest will stay as it is with a refresh timer. This arcane also has two passive effects. The first one is increased melee combo multiplier by 7.5 seconds, so you can easily switch between your melee and primary weapon. The second effect is increased holster speed by 60%, which also goes hand in hand with this arcane since you need to switch between your weapons constantly, and these effects really make it a lot easier. Let's now go over the last primary arcane, Primary Merciless, which will give you a 30% damage boost for your primary weapon each time you kill an enemy. The boost lasts 4 seconds and will stack up 12 times to the max of 360% damage increase for your primary weapons. When the timer reaches 0, you will only lose one stack and not the whole effect. You will also get two passive effects with this arcane equipped. The first one is increased reload speed by 30% and the second one 100% ammo maximum increase. I myself love to use primary merciless on pretty much any primary weapon I have that doesn't focus on headshots because it is just so easy to use and I think most people will agree with me. Those are all the primary weapon primary arcanes, but there is also one other type, the fractalized type, that only has one arcane in its group. You can get this arcane in two ways. The first way is buying it from your not-so-friendly Zaraman weapon dealer, Cavalero, for 5000 holdfast standing. This way is pretty easy, but no, there is another. By killing the Thrax enemies, Ravenous Void Angels and Normal Void Angels, you have a very small chance to get the Fractalized Reset Arcane. The pool of arcanes is huge, so a Thrax enemy, for example, has 0.33% chance one Fractalized Reset Arcane. If you want more examples, the Ravenous Void Angel has 0.67% to drop the Fractalized Reset Arcane, and the Normal Void Angel has 1.67%. To drop the fractalized reset arcane. 
a very low drop chance, but again, the amount of arcanes you can farm up this way is insane. Let's now go over the Fractalized Arcane. Fractalized Reset is an arcane that will increase your reload speed for 5 seconds by 240% each time you cast an ability. It is extremely good to use on slow reload weapons, such as Trumna in combination with ability-focused Warframes like Octavia. But besides that, there is nothing else here, just quick fingers. With this, we have gone over all the arcanes you can put on your primary weapons. There will definitely be more in the future, but for now, this is it. My question for this video is, which arcane is your favorite? My favorite is Primary Merciless, because it is extremely easy to use. But I also like the Primary Deadhead Arcane, especially for the Incarnon weapons. With this, I thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, or maybe even subscribe, and also have a very nice day. Bye, guys.